Hi, my name is Miss Andrea, and I teach the cello here at McPhail Center for Music. And today I'm going to show you the cello. So the first thing I'm going to show you is all of the different parts of the cello, and there are lots of different parts. So we're going to start from the top and work from the bottom. So this beautiful wooden carved part of the cello here is called the scroll. And these little black things right here, these help tune the cello strings, and they're called pegs. And they live in a peg box, which is right here. This long piece of wood right here is called the neck, and you can see it better this way. Okay, and then it's also the neck is attached to this long black piece right here, and that's called the fingerboard because that's where your fingers go when you play. These are called the strings, and the cello has four strings. They have an A string, a D string, a G string, and a C string. This here is what holds the strings up, and you can see it sideways. It's called a bridge because it bridges the strings and it holds them up. This here is called the tail piece, and it holds the strings, helps the bridge hold the strings, and it also helps tune the cello as well as the big pegs here. So if you just need to tune your cello a little bit, you use these. If you have to tune it a lot, you use these. This down here is called the end pin. And if you didn't have an end pin, you'd have to hold your cello really hard with your knees and that would hurt. So the end pin helps hold the cello up when you need to play it. These are called F holes. They kind of look like an S, but they also look like an F, and you can't probably see it, but there's a little notch here that makes it look like an F, and that's where all the sound comes out of the cello. Probably the biggest thing on the cello is the cello's body, and this big part right here, all the red that you see, is the body of the cello. Sometimes cellists will even call the body of the cello, the shoulders are right here, and the hips are right here. So this whole part is the body of the cello. Um, and then this is called a bow, and we use the bow to play on the strings. This part of the bow is called the frog, and it has a little eye, kind of looks like a frog. And this is called the tip, and this is horsehair. And this horsehair comes from the tail of a horse, so they take it right off the tail and they make bows with it. And <laughs> helps the strings vibrate. So you can play with a bow on the cello, or you can play with your fingers on the cello and do what we call pizzicato. So the cello has um, a very wide range of sound. I can play really low, and that's my favorite note, and I can play really high. And there's all the notes in between. So I can play very high and very low, and then I can also, and this is one of my favorite things about the cello too, is I can make all kinds of fun animal sounds on my cello, so I'm gonna show you some animal sounds. The first animal I'm gonna show you is a cow, and a cow goes moo, and so I'm gonna make my cello go moo. That's how the cello says moo. Another favorite sound I have is a pig. And pigs go oink, and so the cello can say oink, oink. Oink, oink, oink. Another great sound that the cello can make that's an animal sound is a kitty cat. It can say meow. And let's see, another animal sound, it's actually not an animal, but it's another fun sound, it's called a train, a choo-choo train. So this is the choo-choo train. And the last sound that's, that I teach my students when I teach them animal sounds and they love it is the mouse. And the mouse, you put your bow down here and it makes a squeaky sound. And it sounds like a mouse. So those are all some, a couple of really great animal sounds you can make on the cello. And there's also a cello piece that is an animal that, that sort of sounds like an animal. It's called the swan. And cellists play it all the time, so I'm going to play you a little bit of the swan. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
And you can kind of imagine a swan gliding along the lake. So that's basically the cello. I've been playing the cello since I was six years old and I am now almost 35, so that's a long time. And um, I always loved the cello and my mom played the cello, so I wanted to be like my mom. So that's how I started playing the cello. A good age to start the cello is somewhere around the ages of four and six. Um, and that's usually when I start my students. I teach in the Suzuki department, so we start our students very young. I start four-year-olds all the time. Um, so um, if anybody is ever interested in the cello, come see me. And the last thing I'm going to show you is a song that you probably recognize. <laughs> Have fun trying the cello in Musical Trolley this week. <laughs>